that's really at the heart of the writing. It's very lean and elegant in its shape and structure. Is that your experience on the show? Absolutely, yeah. And of course, the criticism that comes with that is that he's simplifying or editing the the actual historical facts for you know dramatic um, satisfaction. But I think that's fine. I mean, I think there's been a lot of hoo-ha with season four that there's more liberty being taken with the truth. But I think it's quite clear that he everything he does is rooted in real characters and real relationships. It's nice to see that. I mean, as as in all historical dramas, one knows that the truth was much more complicated and, and much more long running, obviously, than, than anything you're seeing on the screen time. I like that with a character who's supposedly so undemonstrative, any little beat like that is enormous fun to play, obviously, because you're just you're showing a, a, a tiny bit of what might be going on under the surface. Fascinating man, fascinating character to research, probably the most interesting person I've ever had to do research on. No. It's all down to the dialogue and, as I say, the way that Tommy <laughs> has this ability to just slowly ramp it up. Well, as you say, it is all down to the dialogue. And I think, you know, people say everyone loves that scene. So many people have said to me how much that they enjoyed that scene. And it is, it's a fantastic um, building scene, as you say. And I think it's its testament to how brilliant and inventive, because we don't know that it was exactly like this, as with all of the crowd, but how brilliant Peter Morgan's writing is. And how he, I think I really benefited from the fact that he, he fixed on Tommy as a way of telling the story, as a kind of curator narrator, keeper of the flame, you know, true believer, who, who would always be there to, to remind everyone else of why they were there, particularly to remind the young Elizabeth of, of what she was there and why, why it was important. 